Hi guys, this is your main guy Abdul Hakim, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up ODK Collect. So all you need to do is to go to the Play Store. ODK Collect is a software that allows you to um, collect data with your mobile phone. So you're just going to type ODK uh, Collect. You need ODK Collect to be able to practicalize most of what I've shown you in the previous videos. Um, see a link to our, my previous video up. Um, so just click on install to help you install the ODK Collect. Uh, once ODK Collect has been installed, you should be able to see that in your home screen as a shortcut on your home screen. So you quickly move over to your home screen. And then on your home screen, you should be able to see ODK Collect um, on your home screen here. Very good. So and all you need to do is to click on the ODK Collect that has been installed. And you see this, it says collect data anywhere. Now if you already have a QR code, you can click on this and scan the QR code for the project that you've done. Otherwise, you might have to manually enter your project details. But one way to quickly get started is to, um, if you don't have a project yet, you're just downloading the ODK um, Collect, is to just click below. So you can see below where it says the ODK Collect version 2021.31. 20, and you don't have a project yet, so try a demo. So what you're going to do is to try a demo. So just click on try a demo. And then it gives you this outline. These are the different aspects of the software so you can fill a blank form edit a saved form send finalized form view um, send form get blank form and delete um, saved form so uh, with this you can actually um, if you have a blank form you can put it in manually and then you see your form here and then you can collect or you can click what is called get blank form and then you connect to a server where you see forms that these are forms that are just on the default server so you can just click on get selected down here and all the forms are downloaded so that means if we go back and we say fill blank forms we should be able to see a form um, that we can just use for demo okay so you can just click this is just showing you the power of um, ODK collect can you use it to you can use it to record sound choose a sound do multiple response set questions you know and then move to the next you can choose a particular sound and then you can save your form and exit okay yeah so before we get on i made this video due to a comment made by my highly respected colleague brother and friend dr danimo so if you have any comments please if any of you have any comments or requests please put it in the comment section below i i spend time to read all the comments and i appreciate all the comments that my friends and colleagues and well wishers have been making all right the next thing i want to talk about is um edit save form so if you've already collected data you can actually edit the forms by clicking edit save form and click on um on the particular file that you've um saved and then you can now work on it and make some corrections and um uh, close it back okay that's what this edit save form is for but if you're finished collecting the data you can do one of two things is either you click on send finalized form highlight the particular um questionnaire that you've already collected and then click on send selected and then give it some time and then it will have uploaded to your server so you can go to the server and retrieve your data okay then you can actually also view the form that you'd sent you can open it still although it's already sent but this time you cannot make any adjustments to it because it's already gone there's nothing you can do about about that you've already sent it to the server you can also get blank form. We've seen an example of the get blank form where if you put your form on the server, you can ask your data collectors to just download ODK, collect anywhere they are in the world, and then uh, click and uh, get blank form and then get the particular form and click on get selected and download the form for them to use. Okay. The last thing I want to show you here on this page is for you to delete selected forms. So you can actually delete the forms that you have delete blank forms or delete saved forms or clear the forms completely so this is an this is the entire setup for the home page of odk collect and i want you to go a little into the um the settings so for you to each project has its own settings so for this particular project which is a demo project you will see up here the d so if you click on that it gives you um, 
this uh, small dialog box that allows you to either add a new project or look about the project or go to settings so we're going to go to settings very quickly in the settings you see the um, server settings how you want your project to display user interface maps uh, how do you how you want to manage uh, forms uh, user and uh, device identity and then you see how you can also protect your forms you know in the era of um, personal um, information and also in the era of you being uh, careful because of ethical issues with data so you may want to protect uh, the data that has already been collected using this lower uh, portion okay so we're going to start with the server if you quickly click, click on the server here with the server you can actually um, link up this ODK collect this instance of ODK collect with your server that you already have in the cloud so you can uh, select which type do you have um, is your server using Google Drive or Google Sheets and I'm going to release a video God willing very soon that shows you how to use Google Drive as a server but this time just leave it on ODK then uh, the URL of the server so in my next video I'm also going to show you God willing how to use um, a Kobo toolbox which I call the all-in-one because it has um, the collect software it has a server it has everything that you need in one place okay so you will put the, the um, URL for whichever server you have here put your username and then put your password and that's all you are linked with the server so that means if you make any form and the form is on the server anywhere in the world that you have access to internet and you can download ODK collect you can actually use ODK collect to link up to the server and download uh, forms and collect data anyway and send it back to the server the next i'll quickly talk about is the project display it's very simple you can change the name of your project from here you can change the icon okay and then you can change the color maybe you want a better color just for the icon and then you click on the particular color that you want um, i like this yellow and then and that's that okay and the icon changes the next is the user interface uh, you can change the theme you can change the language you can change the font size some people already have problems with their vision so they don't see these text sizes very well so you can increase it um, this is on medium but you can make it smaller or make it larger then um, the way in which the data is collected for each page um, on the form do you want to use swipes or you want to use the button so you see sometimes below when data is being collected you see next or you see back or do you want to just swipe so that's what this navigation allows you to do do you want to use horizontal swipes use forward or backward buttons or use both of them i usually prefer to leave it at default on both of them then there's what is called the splash screen if you like you can put it on it's just something that shows up when you click on odk um, um collect right and there are different ones that you can load different ones and see how the splash screen looks like all right then we'll quickly come to maps because odk is a tool that you can use with mapping so you can select which kind of map style you want okay you, want, you can also select the source of the map which is the base map and then you can also select the type of style is it street is it terrain is it hybrid is it satellite the cartographers know a little more than what i'm saying okay and then you can either select which kind of layer you want to um, reference it with the next is the form management so you can look at a blank uh, form to update the form or you can um, uh, make sure that the way the form is updated is it manually or is it um, from a previously downloaded form or the form that you have should exactly match the server this is actually good when you're collecting data on the field and if you come you have some errors you can actually correct the form on the server and the people on the field will be able to it will be updated on the form and then they can continue collecting you can also do a frequency for updating is it automatically by default is um, every 15 minutes all right but you can also automatically download the updated version of the form by just clicking on this and then you can also hide um, old forms and you can also make selections and adjust the way the form is being submitted so you can set it in such a way that once a form is completed it is sent automatically you can set it to delete after send please do not set to delete after send because that means 
if something happens to the data you cannot retrieve it but here even if you send it you still have a copy on your mobile phone okay then uh, you can also do some of these settings check the default to finalized do some constraints check the resolution of the video that you are using and the images that's if you put media on your tool and then you can talk about how the forms are going to be imported all these are basic settings that you can um, do the last setting I want to talk about is the user and device identity and here if you have metadata in the last video we talked a lot about metadata you can now collect some anonymous usage of um, the data it helps you to look at issues and fix problems and then look at features okay so this last area under here is the settings and this is usually very good when you're employing people to help you collect data because when you employ people in the field to help you collect data then it's very important that you set some rules and you put some things protected so they don't play around with your device and then they also don't play around with the data because of the freedom that electronic data collection gives so you can set an admin password that nobody can change the settings unless the person has the admin password and obviously you are the admin you can also um, reconfigure some of the codes that you have uh, change the QR code and replace and delete and do the rest and then you can now limit this is the best of all of them you can limit how people how the users use it so you can limit the main settings on the main page you can remove out all these things such that the user is not able to um, edit saved form if you don't want that uh, you don't want him to send finalized form you don't want him to view a form that has been sent you don't want him to get any blank form other than the ones that are already there and you don't want him to be able to delete any save form you can remove all of this here remember that when you put the admin settings nobody can now change any of these things on, unless you change it yourself okay and then the last one is how the form how the data has been entered into the form um do you want to allow moving backwards do you want to allow the person to be able to check the settings change the language go to prompt save form or change the name of the form and all these other very good settings okay this is all about odk collect it's a very very advanced software we're lucky to have it that is free you can use it to collect your data on the field you can use it for your project you can use it for your thesis if you're a resident doctor and you're doing your part two um dissertation this is a very good tool for you you don't need to waste money to um, go and print paper and waste time and effort and then come back and have to enter it back into the computer and then start cleaning and doing a lot of um putting yourself through a lot of stress okay so these are the settings for um odk collect um, i'll also be showing you how to install um kobo collect and honor collect and survey cto collect there are a lot of collect since they are very similar and um there are free tools that you can use to enhance your data collection experience if you have enjoyed this video please give us a like give us a thumbs up it really helps the channel and it helps youtube to suggest this video to other people that are looking for similar content if you have not subscribed please subscribe to our channel it also helps the channel to grow thank you very much for listening and as always peace See you in the next video.